Do you enjoy looking at the beautiful serene paintings of Monet, his delicate water lilies, the bright vivacious sunflowers of Van Gogh, and the lovely shy smile of the Mona Lisa? But do you ever wonder this time of year, what if some of these famous paintings had a sinister twist? Then you're not alone. Francis Bacon, although one of the more modern artists of our time in the 1950s, decided to take a series of Velasquez paintings from the 1600s and give them a little bit of an evil look. So if you would like to see me recreate the study of Velasquez's portrait of Pope Innocent X, but with a ghostly overtone, then let's get started. Diego Velázquez was a Spanish painter who painted portrait of Pope Innocent X in 1650. Velázquez was one of Bacon's favorite old masters, but he never actually saw many of the major works in person. He viewed Portrait of Innocent X only once, having deliberately avoided it for years. Velasquez had been commissioned by Pope Innocent X to paint his portrait in, from real life. However, Bacon never painted from real life, preferring to use a variety of visual sources such as photographs. Francis Bacon painted this version of the portrait in 1953, and he portrayed the Pope in a less flattering light, in a sinister manner in cavernous dungeons, afflicted by an emotional outburst and devoid of any authority. In Bacon's version of the 17th century masterpiece, the Pope is shown screaming, yet his voice is silenced by the enclosing drapes and dark rich colors. The dark colors of the background lend a grotesque and nightmarish tone to the painting. When asked why he was compelled to revisit Velasquez's portrait again and again, Bacon replied that he had nothing against popes, but merely sought an excuse to use these colors, as you can't give ordinary clothes that purple color without getting into some sort of false mauve manner. However disturbing, the canvas is one of Bacon's masterpieces, completed when he was at the height of his creative powers. It has been the subject of detailed analysis by several major scholars, and it has become the finest Pope Bacon produced. <laughs>